Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? I'm playing some Kali today. It's actually pretty rare that I get this character through, so I'm glad that I finally got it. I haven't been trying super hard, but I definitely have not been banning her, and I've been recording and trying to get uh, videos for you guys for about, I'd say, like, two and a half hours or so. And half of those games go the go the distance, half of them are F6s, so, you know, you can, you can think about how many games it is. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys that Kali's early game is actually pretty good. Like, okay, I don't want to say it's good, but it's not bad by any means. This character's early game is not bad at all. Actually, you want to go the mana pot. I think the mana pot's definitely the play. And I think... Usually I would go... The old me would go blink, dude. But I think Shell's just better for pressure overall. Uh, because this matchup is pretty simple. Um, I'm pretty sure Kali just wins really 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 hard late so it's all about just what you can do early so we're just gonna go shell to try to survive the early game because while we might do more work with like a sprint or a beads later against this cupid uh the shell's gonna help us in the early game which is all that matters we don't need any help for our late game we just need the early game help because like i said this character's early is not bad by any means but that doesn't mean it's amazing either. A lot of people think Kali's just uh, farm as hard as you can, get to late game, insta win game, or kind of character. And she is to a degree, but her early game is a lot better than some other characters that people say that about. She actually has a really good early game in comparison to the other gods that people say like, what the? What the? I did not expect him to commit to me so hard. Okay, <laughs> I got quiet there because I was really sad if that was going to kill me. I was going to be really, really sad. I think we can do this because we have lifesteal, a potion, and mannequins. Yep, we got a 103 heal. So I was obviously a little bit distracted there, talking a little bit there. Uh, and he kind of just went in on me, dude. <laughs> that was a little bit a little bit surprising. It was a little bit of an alpha cupid player here. He didn't, he didn't go mannequins, which is really, really weird. But I'm not going to complain because I'm so tired of seeing mannequins every single game. Obviously, it sounds a little hypocritical because I'm building it right now. But if it's the best strategy, there's no reason not to use it. There's literally just no reason not to use it. So just because I'm but just because I'm using it doesn't mean it's any more fun to go against. Mannequin Scepter is just ruling the meta right now. At least that early game. Bumbos is ruling the late game meta. And Mannequins is ruling the early, mid, and late. The late exception being Bumba's Hammer. It's it's actually kind of silly just to see these two starters in every single game. Bumba's Hammer and Mannequins. But this Cupid did not do it. So this matchup's pretty self-explanatory, like I said. You kind of just farm up early game. And then you buy Blink. And then you Blink on him. And you one-shot him. If you don't one-shot him, that means he used Relics. What the heck? And dashed away, then you jump on him and you kill him. It's just that easy. Actually ran away. I hope you guys are having a good day. Like I said, I, I've spent the past three hours trying to get recordings for you guys, and I don't know how many of those I'll be using, if any. It really just depends. We'll see. I don't really like decide whether a video is going to go up or not. What the? There's no reason he should be trading me here. Auto cancel. I could have ulted for the slow there, but I don't think one more auto and a tiny little like 17 damage ult tick is going to kill him there, so I don't think it's worth. We're either going to look to kill him here or just get the wave in back for transcendence. If we get a stun, I think he dies, but it's a little bit... What the? He dashed into the wall. <laughs> nice. Obviously, he just turned his camera really quickly. Did not expect to go into the wall. So, once you get a kill early game, it kind of just seals their fate, I guess. Because Kali has one of the best, if not the best, late game. The only ones I could think that really contest her heavily in that regard is Uller. And maybe gods like Nemesis and Hebo. As far as just like... The, and Kronos, maybe. As far as gods that just have an insane late game. I don't mean their individual matchups beat Kali. Besides maybe Uller. But all those gods just have insane late games. So if you give them kills early, it feels really bad. It feels really bad. 
All right, so we both have five stacks and transcendence completed. So basically, I think until level 12, this matchup's kind of weird. I kind of just have to walk up and combo him like this. <laughs> I could jump on him, but theoretically, he should be able to dash it every time. And I don't know Cupid's dash cooldown off the top of my head. What the? Okay, okay. Yeah, he did not need to do that one bit. Hopefully, he thinks I'm going to red and I can turn around and walk up to him here. Oh, we missed the two. We missed the two. I think that was a great play and a bad play. It was a great play to, like, be able to catch him off guard there. But unfortunately, he kind of just turned around and looked us in the eye and said, do it, bro. He kind of just looked at us and said, you won't. And then I didn't. So I guess he was right. I guess he was right. I expected him to be crying home, crying to his mama, running away in fear, but he kind of just turned around and looked at us, bro. No way he walks up here, right? Oh, he warded this, so he thinks I'm not going to do the buff. <laughs> well, he might just walk over to, to blue buff, yeah, my blue buff. I'll just give up my wave, because I should be able to get the XP over the wall anyways. He doesn't have ult. I ulted there just for more DPS overall, but also because Cupid, granted it only would have lasted like, you know, half a second longer, but Cupid, ult, Cupid Heart Bomb and ult both slow before their other CC kicks in, and Kali is slow immune. Let's go over here to the mid, because there's really just nothing else to do, and actually, it's very, it's really rare that this mid camp makes or breaks the difference of what you need and gold or XP, but that camp right there actually gave me just enough gold and just enough XP to buy this relic and just go straight into the Hydras. As far as, like, people ask me on stream when to go defense and when not to go defense on Kali, because a lot of the times I don't go defense, and my answer to that is honestly just, you go defense when you feel like you need it, bro, like, in this, in this game, give or take, it's mostly just me walking all over them, you know, there's been a couple close calls, but... It's mostly just me walking towards them and beating them up. And if I'm starting every fight, especially now that I have Blink, if I'm starting the fights and I'm the one initiating and bursting him first, there's not really much he can do to retaliate like against me. So therefore, I don't really need defense. There's a misplay there. I'm pretty sure I could have killed him if I spaced better. That just goes to show, like, do you guys see that damage, man? Holy. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know, like, if I'm just, like, nervous. Like, I don't know why I would be nervous for you guys, because I've been recording for hours. But I don't know what it is, if I'm just nervous or what, but I cannot land a Kali 2 right now, man. It's not even a hard ability to land. It's actually really easy, especially if you're just trying to get one tick. I just can't hit him, dude. I think maybe it's not about YouTube or me or being nervous. Maybe it just comes down to young god underscore tom is just in my head dude maybe that's all it is he's just mentally in my head we're gonna go straight into crit here basically i'd say even in matchups that i go defense sometimes i still go hydra second even if i am going defense uh third i still go hydra second but in this match since he's also not building defense i imagine he'll go defense third but he doesn't have any defense right now, so I can capitalize off of uh, off of that and just basically one-shot him every engagement if I go crit and get a lucky Hydra's crit. So that's what we're going to go for here. We jump on him. We start the fights. The, the, court, or the ball is in our court. I'm going to walk away before that stuns us. Hopefully we can jump on him here. Yep. Huge Hydra's procs. I would keep diving, but he does have his dash up. Or if he doesn't, he'll have it up in like two seconds, so. It's basically up. We, we kill the buff really quickly, even without abilities, because that's just the, the Mannequin Scepter way. I mean, honestly, even if we didn't have Mannequin Scepter, we have so much power in this build right now. I think his, I think his dash is still down. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say his dash is still down. Nice. I ulted as a better safe than sorry kind of measure because I have a decent amount of CDR 
But just in general, there's really no reason not to ult there. Worst case scenario, I have to wait a whole whopping 60 seconds after he spawns to fight again. 60 seconds really is nothing, so there's no reason to hold it there. In fact, when I started playing Duel, it's kind of funny actually. When I started playing Duel, like uh, about three, three years ago or so, I played a lot. Of, I played a decent amount of Kali, I'd say. And that was back when I wasn't banning Scotty. So I had like, th I can think of like three different occasions to three to different players where I lost versus Scotty as uh, as Kali, and especially late game, which all those matches went late game. Sorry, I'm having a hard time <clears throat> talking here. Uh, even if those matches go late game, you kind of just win by default as Kali. And I lost them when I first started playing. And all three of those losses were because I either didn't beads or didn't ult or both. I just kind of held my ult to the last second, died. They killed my Phoenix, killed my Titan in one push, and I felt really silly. So, I don't know. When I, when I turned it around and decided to just ult... And stop uh, being so greedy with it, but I haven't had issues like that in quite a while, to be honest. With like my Kali ults not going off, I think I can just blink one shot on here. Yep. Didn't even get a crit, by the way. We do that much damage. This is a very strange match because he's not going defense. I don't know if he just thinks it's hopeless because because Kali passive once she hits level twenty. Whoever is her target, which is, you know, obviously going to be Cupid in this situation because there's only one god. Whoever her target is, um, you, you deal an extra 30%. You have 30% pen. You don't, you don't deal an extra 30%. You have 30% pen. Oh, here we go. He's, he's finally going to defense. He realizes that he gets absolutely one-tapped. Maybe, maybe he's just a little bit newer to duel and he's kind of just copying me. Like, I'm not going defense, so maybe he thinks... That's the play here. Maybe he's not thinking about anything, dude. Watch this guy just like I feel like there's some times where I just overanalyze people, like, oh, this guy's gonna make this move at this time for this reason. And really they're just like banging out to dubstep, just not they don't even know what game they're playing. They're just they're just lit. They're just lit listening to dubstep, not don't even have in-game audio, no thought process whatsoever, just having a good time. And I'm over here like, I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> He's not letting any autos on me. This is weird. This is a strange fight. I didn't get a crit there. He beats it though. I think my ult kills him. Yeah. If I can just stick to him, my ult definitely kills him. I kind of want... I really want to get to level 20 to show you guys this hidden blade. I want, I want you guys to see... Like, a lot of people know Kali's good. I mean, Kali's been good for... As long as I can remember in Duel, honestly. Maybe since the dawn of time. Ever since she got reworked. Like, forever ago. Like, she, this character, like, a lot of people probably don't even know she got reworked or changed or whatever you want to call it. Because if I recall, she got changed, like, before the game even came out. The game came out in, like, 2012-ish. Or, uh, it was playable in 2012-ish. And it came out in 2014-something. And, uh... I don't know at what point she got reworked. I'm pretty sure it's before the game was actually officially released. Maybe like 2013, but she used to have a very different kit. Uh, uh, similar, but very different. Like, <laughs> the best way I can describe it. So basically from the dawn of time, this character has been a really, really, really good dual god. Deathbringer did just get nerfed this patch. Uh, it got like a small nerf to its passive in both regards of what it does. But it's still it wasn't a very big nerf. They basically, as far as I remember, they made like the the ten percent part, the slow and the damage output go from fifteen to ten, and the increased damage it does, like critical strike bonus damage dealt, is increased by twenty five. I think that was thirty. So they basically changed two two stats on it, uh, both by five percent. So definitely a nerf, definitely something to, to consider. But I don't think it's a reason to not build the item. Oh, I just realized I didn't buy my Mannequin Hidden Blade. Ooh, dude. <sighs> Part of me wants to just go on this guy. Maybe we can show you guys the damage. Okay, their money ran away. I don't want to use my Blink. I want to I want to show you guys the Hidden Blade. I do not need the Hidden Blade to burst him that hard, but... It, it just looks even funnier. I do have a red buff, though, so maybe the DPS would be similar. Red, losing red buff, but having Hidden Blade. Maybe, maybe we just go on him here. Hopefully we get a crit. 
And there, <laughs> there you have it. That's uh, that's crit Kali, or just Kali in general. You definitely don't have to build crit, but the way I see it is even if your opponent goes spectral armor, there's really just no reason not to go crit. It's really good right now. Crit tends to like at least the build I went tends to not have a ton of um penetration in it besides the hydras, but Kali doesn't mind that whatsoever. Kali doesn't mind that whatsoever because she has built in crit. I mean, she has built-in pen, so the, the lack of pen in the build is made up for uh, by Kali passive. So this would have been a hidden blade, and then last item I would have went a wind demon, I imagine. Wind demon more than likely. Uh, so that's the build. I appreciate you guys watching. It does mean a lot. Uh, it wasn't the most uh, competitive match ever, but it's really hard to get a competitive Kali game in, I'll be honest. And I've been recording for about three hours, so I hope the I hope the video proves the point. I hope the video is uh is good enough to upload. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.